Hi, my name is Melissa Sassine and I'm a makeup artist here today with Hello Molly Fashion. We're going to be doing a beautiful makeover on our model Shiana and we'll be showing you a fun, girly, flirty, fresh makeover that you can do yourself at home. Let's get started. Okay, so the key to a beautiful makeover is good skin. Most importantly, when you're putting makeup on, you must ensure that you've looked after your skin. It's freshly cleansed and hydrated. I'm starting off with the MAC Fast Response Eye Cream applied lightly to the eye area. This will allow the makeup to go on smoothly and last long. Then it is important to moisturise your skin. One important tip to keep in mind when you're moisturising your skin is never to forget your neck area. Your neck area is where the first signs of ageing aging begin. And when you're wiping your moisturiser, always go in upwards motion on your neck area. Third step to skin prep is your lips. Make sure your lips are always hydrated so your lipstick goes on smoothly. I'm using the pawpaw ointment. This will help keep the lips hydrated so the lipstick goes on smoothly and lasts long. First step to our makeup application is foundation. Foundation will be applied to the eyelids as a base for the eye makeup. I'm using NC20 in the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. And this is applied over the entire eyelid from lash line to brow line. Now I like to use brushes to apply the product but then go over it with my fingers just to set it into the skin. This might confuse some of you because I'm starting on the eyes first. However, you will see it come together as we finish the, the Next makeup. step is setting the eyes with a powder. I like to use the Bobbi Brown Loose Powder because of its fine pigment and once it's applied to the skin, it sets the foundation so that the eye makeup and eyeshadow that you apply on top won't move. So make sure you just go over wherever you've applied the foundation so that there's no foundation sitting in the fine lines and then softly press the loose powder onto your eyelids. If you press the powder on top of this area here without smoothing it out, it will actually stay there. So what we want to do, as I had done on the other eye, is just smooth it out before you set and then apply the loose powder on top. Just keep the eyes closed. And pressing is better than flickering. As when you flicker your makeup off, you're only wiping it away. We want to make sure that it's set right into the skin. Our next step to the eye makeup is the MAC Paint Pot in Bare Study. Paint pots are used underneath eyeshadow, and this is what allows the eyeshadow to last long and go on. And you can blend your eyeshadows together easily without having to work so hard at it. So using the MAC 289 brush, flat brush, I'm going to apply the Bare Study onto the eye area. You need to work with it quite quickly because it can dry up. So over the eyelid, over the entire eyelid, we're going to apply the Bare Study Paint Pot. It's creamy, it's got a bit of a, a metallic shine to it. So once we use a eyeshadow over the top, it will allow the eyeshadow to grip on and last long. This is perfect if you want your eyeshadow to last all day without moving. We're also going to apply it to the upper brow bone and then work it down into the brush line. And just over, we're using your fingers, you can just go over it to press it in and make sure that there's no brush marks. Next product is the MAC eyeshadow in Naked Lunch. One of my favourite colours it's got a bit of a frost to it, applied with the 217 MAC brush. This brush is my absolute favourite, I could do a whole makeover with this. It's soft, it's fluffy, make sure when you apply the eyeshadow, really work it into the brush. So that way once you apply the colour to the eyelids, it's evenly distributed. And then press the eyeshadow on over the entire eyelid. And then to the upper brow bone. Leaving the crease line free. So again, just to enhance the colour. Okay, next slide. 
So our next item is the Napoleon Loose Shimmer Dust in Starlight. This is going to be applied with the 217 MAC brush straight on top of the Naked Lunch colour we had just used. Over the eyelid and over the brow bone. So our third colour eyeshadow is called Quarry by MAC. This colour is also going to be applied using the 217 MAC brush in the socket lines. Again, make sure you're thorough with the colour, get it all over the brush. And this brush is great because it sits exactly where we want it, right in the socket line. Okay. Our next product is the, the MAC Black Eyeliner in Black Tracks. It's a fluid liner, gel based applied with the 2H Napoleon brush. When you're doing an eyeliner, never try and draw a straight line across. Always do short feathery strokes and on the lash line. If you do short feathery strokes, you're bound to get more of a neat, clean liner rather than trying to do it in one whole go. And you can take the eyeliner out as far as you want. Open. Okay. So I'm going to put a full set of lashes on Shiana. These lashes are sterilised human hair lashes, so they're going to feel a lot more comfortable on the eye as opposed to synthetic lashes and I'll be using the Duo Lash Glue to apply the lashes on. Open. Yep, look down. And apply it straight onto the lashes. Open. Yep, look down. Because the, lash, the false lashes aren't thick and synthetic, they blend quite well with the natural lashes. Look at me. Yep, good. And we'll just give them 10 seconds to dry. Keep looking down for me. So over the lashes now, once they're dry, I'm going over the lashes with the same fluid eyeliner by MAC. Just running over where the glue was applied. Just to enhance the lash line and add a bit of depth to the eyes of the me. Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to use an eye makeup remover now on a cotton pad just to remove any residue that has fallen underneath the eyes before we do her base. This is perfect, especially if you're doing a smoky eye. Clean up all the residue and then start the foundation. So all that pick up, gone. Okay, so the next product is the Strobe Liquid Lotion, which keeps the skin hydrated and also gives a really nice um, luminous effect to the skin. Just applied evenly all over the skin. This brightens up the face, perfect on its own, beautiful underneath foundation, evening day, great for both looks. Okay, I'll be using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation on Chiana in NC20. This is a medium to heavy coverage. Obviously, the more you put, the stronger the build up. I like to use a brush to distribute it over the face and then go over it with my fingers just to make sure that it sets in nicely into the skin without any brush strokes showing. I'm not always a huge fan of the uh, brushes without going over it with a sponge or your fingertips. When you apply your foundation too, don't forget just to blend it in through the hairline and always be gentle around your eye area. And I'm going in with a sponge now just to evenly distribute it. 
Also, many people forget the ears. If you've got your hair tied up in a pony or in a high bun, don't forget just to wipe a little foundation on your ears. Okay, the concealer I'm going to use today is a Napoleon concealer. And with concealers, at times they can be quite thick. So, I'm going to mix in the foundation that we applied onto Shiana, the Studio Fix. A slight amount, just to soften up the concealer so it's not so thick. Get your tools up. Concealer is mainly used um, around the eyes to conceal the dark circles or any blemishes that you may have. Next step to set the foundation, I'm going over the face with the Bobbi Brown powder that I used on the eyelids. And when you apply powder, make sure you press it in. Okay, next, next product is Studio Fix Powder by MAC. Apply it on with a big powder brush, just to finish off the skin and the base. So next I'm doing eyebrows. So using just an empty mascara wand, I'm brushing up her eyebrows. And I'm using eyeshadow to fill her eyebrows in. Our next product is the MAC Bronzing Powder in Matte Bronze. We'll be using this to contour her cheekbones. Our next product is the, uh, the MAC Blush in Peachy Keen, applied to the apples of the cheeks. Our next product is the MAC Fluid Line, however, in the colour called Macro Violet. I'm going to apply this onto Shiana's lash line. So with Shiana's eyes, they're small almond shaped eyes, so we're going to apply the eyeliner right onto the lash line to give the illusion that her eyes look slightly larger. And to do this, short feathery strokes right onto the lashes, almost like you're playing dot to dot with the lashes. When you're applying the mascara and you've got false lashes on, Make sure you go over the top area to cover any eyeshadow spillage and then have the natural lashes applied onto the false lashes so then it looks natural. And on the bottom ones, run it left to right using the tip of the mascara wand. Yep, our next product, Makeup Forever, nice soft pinky shimmer, going to be used on the inner corner of the eye. Give it that real pretty, open up the eye, fresh summer. This looks great evening. Gold, great to use on small almond eyes as it gives the illusion the eyes look larger. And we can also dust a little bit on the high brow bone. Our next product is a Chi Chi lip liner called Bimbo. One of my absolute favorite colors. It's matte, goes on smooth, when you're applying your lip liner, always follow your natural lip shape. And the easiest tip I could share with you is probably start from your outer corners, halfway through the top lip, and then the bottom lip, outer corner. Do the same on the other side. Short feathery strokes. And then join the bottom two together. And for long-lasting lipstick too, just colour the whole lip in with the lip liner. Our next product is a Chi Chi lipstick called Bimbo, one of my absolute favourites. Perfect for you divas out there. This is 
like a beautiful berry colour. Thank you and we hope you enjoyed the makeup tutorial. For more video tutorials, please visit www.hellomollyfashion.com or www.melissa-sassine.com. We'd love to hear your feedback. You can also visit us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. <laughs>